Hey, good evening. Uh, welcome back. I uh, just poured myself a Burlock and Barrel Reserve, a local Jacksonville distillery. Gonna let that sit. So uh, this is gonna be uh, the next installment. I don't know, I'm not keeping track. Uh, I have to look back at the other ones to figure out where I am, so. Cheers. Uh, give me drinking this tonight. Uh, pouring these into bottles and uh, actually got our hands on a special edition uh, seal box that in uh, conjunction with manifest distilling so uh, very excited about that mute the game behind me <clears throat> all right so mm. love that reserve all right so tonight uh, just took these out of the out of the refrigerator. They chilled. This is the hot summer. This is uh, initially uh, put together on December sixth. So first off, go Jags. I am a Steeler fan, if you know me, but I've lived here for a long time, so I am by proxy a Jags fan now. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, this stuff is. Uh, 125 proof uh, we have 375 milliliters here I have decided that I'm gonna cut uh, obviously I don't want to cut it in half uh, I don't want to make it that that week so basically with the old limestone water uh, I'm gonna put 175 milliliters of water in there and that will cut the uh, proof down by a quarter and put it somewhere in the 90s, which I'd be happy with. So, uh, 175 milliliters. <clears throat> Let's get the right side of this thing. It's gonna be right there. And again, I get, you know, I get questions about the water. You could use distilled water, you could use tap water, you can use whatever you want. Um, the only reason I use it is because that's what they use at Buffalo Trace, and I'm trying to get the closest analog that I can find. So, uh, gonna use another empty Buffalo Trace bottle. I have a few of those. Um, so, in goes the water. Down the hatch with the hot summer, fresh out of the fridge. There's nothing in this. Uh, the last video we took everything out and it was supposed to chill in the refrigerator. So, there is 525 milliliters of hot summer, proof down to about 90 something. Just a little sample. I'm gonna have a friend over tonight, so we're probably gonna sample all these anyway. It's a little, little hot on the front end still. Um, but pretty good flavor uh, overall. I don't know about the color. The color's a little weak. Um, so all in all, uh, it's all right. Um, yeah, not not what I expected uh, versus the, the color of this other one. We'll see how that turns out. So I'm gonna have to label that. I'll go on the shelf with the other ones. Um, big fan of Russell 10. My wife likes drinking Russell 10 as well. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing with the uh, dark chocolate caffeine, uh, the caffeine kick. Um, I'm going to do the exact same math. So uh, going in first. <clears throat> I'll just put this in there. And then put the water in. Go 
go. I never like to go back in. There we go. All right, another 175 milliliters of water. Measure twice, cut once. There we go. All right. Water in. I guess I might have made a mistake on that other bottle and I didn't give it a shake. So we'll give this one a shake. So this should be 525, right? No, 550 milliliters. The other one's the same. 550 milliliters of 90 something proof uh, caffeine kick here. So we'll give this a whirl. Smell is not as strong as the other one, the hot summer. Oh wow. That's really good. That's really good. It's like a, I don't know, it's uh, caramely. I'd get a little bit of coffee on the sides of the tongue. There's a little bit of caramel in there. There's, yeah, that's actually a pretty good flavor. Um, I'll do the actual math and figure out the, the real proof. But uh, so that's it. That's, uh, that's going to be the, the caffeine kick and the hot summer. Uh, straight out of the instructions that they provide in the kit. Um, so those are going to get labeled and go on the shelf with my other freelance stuff. I uh, hope you all have a good evening and again, go Jags.